Say yes to new beginnings. Yes. Say yes to new standards of excellence. Yes. Say yes to engage in reportage with a difference. Yes. Introducing Yes International Magazine. The time to say yes to your dreams and aspirations is here. Before I delve into my sure. legend question, sure. how does it feel to be on the cover of Forbes? Just being on the cover of Disney Style, <laughs> being on the cover of all of the magazines that I've been privileged to be on the cover of. I mean, it's just uh, another step okay. in your journey towards in your journey of life. So, okay. for me, I don't think there's something that, anything extraordinary about it. Right. It's a testament to say maybe you're doing certain things right, which is why uh, the, the cover was necessary. Okay, well, what's going to change about uh, Mr. Steve Babe Konada has made the cover of Forbes? I'm getting more. <laughs> I'm getting more invitation from across the continent. Okay. People wanting me to talk, be part of certain right. events. So I think that's about the only thing. Oh, all right, now let, let's come closer home now. First, what makes a good advert man? It's, it's a very, this is a very tricky question. I mean, to, to really succeed in this advertising business, I think the key thing is even passion for the business itself. Okay. If, if you, if you, sometimes this job can be one of the most difficult jobs in the world. Because see, when it comes to creativity, everybody has an opinion. For you to be able to get a client to agree with you that this is the creative direction it takes a lot of passion, it takes a lot of convincing. So you're like a lawyer trying to close a case before a very difficult judge. And that's how it is all the time. So if you don't have the passion, you can never be a good advisor. Oh, oh, all right. We all know that success is not served a lot. Mm -hmm. Other than passion. What are the other ingredients needed to excel in your line of business? Two, you must be good with people. You must be a good person. Okay. There's this guy in a mad man okay. called Don Draper. He's Don Draper. Draper. Don, Don Draper. Draper. Yeah, he was the creative director in the, in the TV series. Okay. And he's like one of my favorite advertising characters, even though he's a fictional character. Okay. He said, and uh, let me just paraphrase what he said. He said, I just don't like the guy on this other side of the table. Okay. Is the reason is how businesses are won or lost. Okay. Just the guy sitting here saying okay. I just don't like this other guy there. Okay. So you as an advert to be successful, you must be a people person. Okay. You must you must have that term quality where people see you and almost like you at first sight. Okay. If you there are some people who are not so lucky, they're not so blessed. People just see them and then they just dislike them. They turn off. <laughs> so, <laughs> so your people skills has to be high, okay. and then your creativity skill. If that, that creativity that you bring from the team point of view must also be very significant, I think. All right. Having been in the advertising sector for a long time, now, I don't need the, I don't need a definition from any of the books mm -hmm. that you have read. I want your own personal mm -hmm. definition of advertising. Well, I guess I've applied it already for the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but advertising for me, I yes. mean, like, being able to help a client okay. move a message okay. about their brand okay. to the public okay. in a compelling way okay. that you see results. Okay. I, I think that's all. In a compelling and creative way, that you that was bring results. So I think those are those are the key elements. All right, in writing copies, yeah. you know what is the best way to come up with the needed ideas? You know how does it work? Maybe especially for you. For me as a person, I, I say, unlike what most people think, they think writing copy is about writing words. It's about words. No, I actually think pictures. I'm looking for the visual metaphor to use. Once I, if I find that visual metaphor, the words will come. So it's, you know, like musicians. So musicians says they write the words first, then they find the melody. So who yeah. find the melody? Me, me, I, 
if I have to write a copy about something, yeah. I'm looking for the visual metaphor okay. to explain that thing. Once I find that right visual metaphor, yeah. I can write it. All right, now, plunging into advertising, yeah. what prompted it? What triggered it in you? Uh, one of my former bosses just, I think, got an interview, I think, way back. I've said this in a few interviews. And, uh, and that just triggered something about me because I was in the middle of not knowing what to do. First, I wanted to be in broadcasting, okay. and then I had the opportunity to serve, do my youth service with NTA Cano. Then I realized that, look, you know what? People just dress and look fine on TV, but they are struggling to get home after casting the news. I'm like, ah, this, this thing is done for me. Let me look for something else to do. And then I stumbled on that interview. And I remember then, it was around 95. 1995, and, and I used to trek from my house in Kaduna to the Kaduna Library. I did that for like two weeks, every day, just going there to. There was this uh, big dusty books on the shelf that talks about advertising and broke it down into different departments. I can't even remember the book, but I know I just kept on combing that section, and I was taking notes and jotting. And so after I did that research for two weeks, I started doing myself. Then I discovered that there's something called brief. Then all of those ads that have been seen in the papers now started making sense to me that there's a process to generating those ads. So I'll give myself imaginary briefs and then I'll be able to write a copy for it. And, you know, and, and that's how. That's how all it's right, you, you just said something about a certain boss. What's his name? Would you like to mention that? Yeah, the that's uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, all, 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 all right. Now, in. Not too long a time, Extreme Ideas has made humongous impact. What would you attribute the success recorded so far to? Well, I mean, like, we are really, really godly people around here. So, <laughs> we start with the number one about the God factor, okay. which I think is, is, played, is one of the major reasons why I can done a lot of things we were credited to have done and, and, and secondly is the energy of the team. We came out wanted to fight this was for us when we wanted to start in twenty twelve. There was a very senior person in, in the advertising space who was the president of the Association of Advertising Practitioners in Nigeria who swore that Uber had been done before extreme would be registered as a as an agency. Wow. So we came from that from that fighting background. background to say, okay, look, you are not good, we will be registered. And we fought the case to a logical conclusion thanks to uh, veterans like uh, Mr. Shoba and Joa, so many other great people who intervened and make sure that uh, at the end of the day common sense prevailed. You know. So we came from that fighting background to wanting to like fight to accomplish everything we've had to accomplish and the fighting never in the end you just exchange you just exchange that first race and then somebody else comes and tries to throw a spanner in the goal but because we just really knew we were hungry enough every challenge that got thrown that got thrown into our way was just another ladder for us to climb to the next step so it's been yeah so other uh, 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 other than what you've just Told us yes. what are the other things that you say uh, that these are the things that have or that are keeping you people going. It's just fresh ideas, you know. Like I tell people, it's about different ideas. Sometimes it's not even like the best ideas, but if it's different sufficiently, it will do get the job done. So if you can, so even if I show you my work and you say you don't like it, I have no problem with you. But if you can't tell me that that work is different, that's when I begin to challenge you because see it's important for differentiation this is a market where if they, if you see 100 banks all of the 100 banks are doing the same thing once bank A does it bank Z starts to do it so but I tell people the only place where you are going to find sufficient traction made in your communication is when you find a different angle to say the same thing so I think because extreme from day one, we've always fought to have a different perspective to this business that has helped us. It, of course, the creative energy as well is really, really important. Because if you're, and, and why is it even important to be different? If 
you want to do what Insight has been doing for over 35 years or more, why should a, a client trust a new agency with their brief if you just want to do what the old guys have been doing? So what are you going to bring them to the table that is different? I think that, that's one area where Extreme has been able to excel. And like I said, what's significant about what we've achieved now is that we're, we're not affiliated to anybody. This is a 100% local business that we've grown. And then we've now grown it to South Africa, we've grown it to Zambia, we're operating out of Zimbabwe, and we're moving into that South Central Africa in a very powerful way. I mean, it's never really been done in the history of this business in Nigeria. So it is that boldness to go and conquer new ground. You must never, you must look fear in the eyes and say, Mr. Fear, I see you, but I'm still going to do me. I'm still going to go ahead and do this thing that looks so scary. So I think all, a combination of all of those things as a